Hi, my name's Kate. I am a high school math teacher in the middle of my 17th year of teaching. Today, I thought that I would take you guys along for a day in my life. Today is Monday, April 8th. So if you guys recognize that date, yes, today is the day of the solar eclipse. So I thought that would be a fun day. It's also our first day back after spring break. So, you know, there's always that extra component to add to this. It's a Monday. So in my district, we have a late start Monday where our students come an hour late so that teachers can have meetings, have our PLCs in the morning. So all sorts of things making this Monday a little bit extra today. So I thought that I would take you guys along. So welcome. I am going to see two of my geometry classes today and my quantitative reasoning class. In my geometry classes, we are starting our next unit, which is all about circles. So we're really just talking about the basics today. We are going to fill out what I call a toolkit. So it's this information right here, and there's more on the back. So really, these toolkits are just a place for students to go to find the most important information. Um, you know, we'll put the formulas, the definitions, you know, we're gonna make some notes, make a picture so that when the students are looking at these later, these yellow pieces of paper are going to be really easy to find as they look through their notes and they can just pull this out and they know, okay, I have the most basic information down here when we get into the inscribed angles and the central angles, which we won't get to today. Um, but they'll have just the most basic information here for this. So this, as we learn things, we will continue to fill the information out. But this is where we're gonna start. And really we're gonna be just talking about the minor arc, the major arc, chords, diameter, um, and those are the, fa the four that we're gonna talk about today. And we're really gonna just focus on how to name different arcs and what all of that means. And then my students are going to work on an assignment which, they should be able to get it done in class and then not have any homework. So this is just a old, old resource that I got. Um, yeah, the copyright is 1989, so it's, you know, a little bit old, but I like it. So it's hapless headlines, so the students just are answering, is it a major arc, a minor arc, is it a semicircle? And then when they put all of this together, it makes a headline. I don't even remember the answer to it. Um, not the greatest resource, but it's just what I had. So this is what my geometry kids are doing today. My quantitative reasoning class, I don't know yet. Thankfully, I have prep first hour, and that's what I'm going to spend my prep doing today, figuring out what my quantitative reasoning is going to do. They ended their last unit just before spring break, so we're going to start a new unit. This is a new to me class, so I don't have previous years to look at to see, oh, this is what I did before. So I'm going to figure that out on my prep. So it is about 7.53. We have a meeting at 8 o'clock so that we can start talking, you know, the final expectations for the solar eclipse and then we're going to move into our content PLCs so um, I will see what I can get for you guys and take you guys along. Personnel is not efficient about anything except this. Um, I put my letter in the middle of last week. My meetings are done. I didn't get a lot of clips. The one little clip that you saw just before this um, we so my school is broken up into these smaller schools and the principal that's in charge of our smaller group of school or our smaller school of study is what we call those like an academy type situation she just announced that she is retiring at the end of the year and it was like an audible gasp in the room we absolutely love her she's an amazing administrator super supportive um and so Yep, she's retiring. It is something that I had a feeling was coming. Um, I have worked with her prior to our schools merging. If you've heard me talk in other videos, my high school merged with another high school. And so I worked with her at our previous high school and she's an amazing administrator. Very, you know, thankful for everything I've learned from her and really sad that she is leaving at the end of the year. So that's leaving us all with a lot of questions, so. That was our shock of the day. So that meeting, and then we went into our math meeting and um, really didn't get a whole lot done, but you know, that's a whole other story. So kids have been in the building for about 15 minutes now. I have prep first hour, so I'm gonna work on getting stuff ready for the day and planning out and making sure I'm ready for the week. 
you've seen any of my Day in the Life videos before, you've seen these start of class slides. I have these up for each class when they come in and it just gives them the information of what they need to do now so that they have all of their supplies done. I will probably add to this because my geometry class will have a warm up. On the bottom there, I do have their I can statements and then today just letting them know what they're going to be doing today, which yes, is very similar to the I can statements. Um, but sometimes, you know, if they have a quiz or a project, I'll put that here as well. Down over here, upcoming due dates. So I will let them know their upcoming test or quiz. So there's their test. I do need to add the date for their quiz. This timer is for their warm up. I have the date up there and then I always have a meme. So here is the meme for today. Thought it was pretty fitting. So I will leave a link for these slides in the description below if this is something that you are interested in using with your class. So Anna's saying, so when we said LK, we assume that we went this way, right? But if we talked about LM, is it this way? Is it that way, right? Is that kind of what you're talking about? And that's what we're going to get into sort of as we talk about this major arc as well. And my picture is not the best. Typically, if it's two letters, it's going to be the minor arc. This one's hard because I should maybe have a point over here, M, because then I could say L, N, M, and that would talk about a major arc. So let's name a major arc that is not L, M. Okay, let's name a different one than that one because we've talked about that one. Say it again. K, M, L. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. So if we start at K, and then Briella said M, so I've got to go to M, and then we're going to go to L. Is that bigger than half of my circle? Yeah, absolutely. A, W, A, and then keep going, and it'll eventually spell out a headline. It's really dumb, right, most of these jokes. And this is from um, 1989, so, you know, think about that. It was a few years before you guys were born. I was six at the time, so, um, yep. But it really dumb things, but you know, most of these jokes that you guys get are really dumb anyway. So then my question for you is, you don't need to draw this, we're just talking. So this arc right there, the one that I have in pink, is that gonna be minor? Oh, bring that back up. Is that gonna be a, considered a minor arc or a major arc? Major. Major? Why? Well, because it's bigger. It's less than half of the circle, so major? Wait, no, wait, that would be like the outer part. That would be... Like, Wait, yeah. but what do you mean by less than half the circle, though? Like, it's, I might be blind, but it looks like less than half the, the perimeter of the circle. The, what do we call it instead of perimeter? Circumference. circumference. circumference okay, so how could we know if it's half the circumference? If we draw the, the, the diameter, right? So if I drew the diameter through this circle, there's my diameter. Again, you guys don't need to draw this. We're just talking. So is this a minor arc or a major arc, the one that's in pink? Arc, so a minor arc. arc, why? Why is it minor? Even though it is big, I agree with that. Yeah, it's less than half of that circumference. Two classes down, one to go. So my geometry classes, they went well. I was missing a lot of kids. Um, I would say eight in my first class and nine in my second class. And I have... 20 in both of those classes to begin with so I had almost you know half the kids just over half the kids there um, the lessons went well there was definitely a lot of downtime which I don't remember from last year so I went back and re looked at my plans from last year and I guess I assigned IXL problems for the kids to do as well which I forgot to do so I need to make sure I make a note for myself either to have another activity for the kids to work on or to do the IXL for next year because they had a good 45 minutes of just sitting around doing nothing um, which was I mean it was fine the day after spring break they were definitely not in the mood to do a whole lot of learning on top of having the eclipse today um, so I may rethink a few things for tomorrow and add an extra something for those kids I am on lunch now, so I brought, I have this great little salad container I got from Target, so I will leave that in the uh, description below, but I've just got a salad with a few toppings today, so that, just a plain old salad. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this, and then my last class, I will see what I can get videos of. Um, I'll probably take a little bit of video while we're out watching the eclipse, but I'm not going to do videos of the actual eclipse itself. We will go outside. We're going to go out door, I don't know, 18. Supposedly it's through the field house somewhere. I don't know. I'm just going to follow Miss Nielsen. That's what we're doing. Just follow Nielsen. 
So yeah, I, I know I was a wealth of information. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just follow everybody else and look up at this guy with your glasses on, and you will. It'll be amazing. You're welcome. Yes, I did get a haircut. I got like seven inches off, which doesn't look like exists so, so much hair. So I know your bangs and a little bit. Looks cute. I told her to cut the bangs right here. Well, she did, and then they curled. No, she cut them up. Too. She cut them like right here. I was like, That's well, not sorry about that, pal. You get it? All right. You don't see that? I'm a little blind. You see it? Get closer. That's it. The day is over. Um, we got to go outside, watch the eclipse. It was really cool. Um, we didn't, again, have total eclipse, but we could definitely tell a difference. It got quite a bit darker out, but not as dark as we thought it would, especially considering there was just the tiniest sliver of sun left. So it's amazing how much light just a little bit of the sun gives off. So um, the kids had a lot of fun and um, glad that we were able to share this experience with our students today as much as I would have loved to have the day off with my kids. Um, my kids district was not in school today, but it was a lot of fun. So anyway, that's it. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in following along more with my journey of teaching high school math, please subscribe. I do upload videos every Friday, but you can hit that notification bell to be notified the next time a video goes live. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.